Hello class, so today we're going to be doing 5-2, angle sum and exterior angles of triangles. And we all know that triangles have 180 degrees. So our angle sum is all three angles, all three interior angles, of a triangle. Add up to 180 degrees. So our angle sum of a triangle, all three interior angles of the triangle add up to 180 degrees. So in this triangle I drew over here, we have A, B, and C for our angles. And so we can write A plus B plus C equals 180, because we know all three add up to 180. But say we're given an example to where we have a triangle. They give us this angle is 100, and this angle over here in the left corner is 30 degrees. And what they want us to do is find the missing angle. We have 100, we have 30, and we know they add up to 180. So what we can, can do is add these two. So we have 130, so that's 130. And we can subtract that from 180. So we subtract 180 and 130, we get zero, five. So we get that our missing angle X is 50 degrees. And you can re-add them back up 30, and 50 is 80 plus 100 is 180. So we can find the missing angle of a triangle by adding the other two and subtracting that from 180. In our next example, this one's a little bit different because we said that the three interior angles add up to 180 degrees. And so we're given at the top, we have a right angle because they give us a little box, but then they give us this exterior angle and we need to find X. What we learned in the last class was that if we have a straight line and it has two angles that are supplementary. And so if they're supplementary, they add up to 180 degrees. And so we can find this missing angle by subtracting 180 and 140. So we get 180, subtract the 140, and we get 40. So we find that this angle is 40 because we have a straight line that has two angles. And so now we're gonna just do like we did before. We have this one is 90 because it's a right angle. This one's 40, and we need to find X. Well, we know the three interior angles out to 180, so we'll take 180. We can subtract 90, and we just get 90. Take out this 40, so subtract 40. 90 minus 40, we get we get 50 again. In this last example, it's a little different in that they want us to find the exterior angle. In the previous two, we were trying to find the interior angle. And well, instead of us having to find this angle first and then helping us use that to help us find X, there's actually a trick. Because we know this angle added with these two angles equals 180 degrees because all triangles have 180 degrees. So this one added with these two equals 180. But also this angle added with X is 180 degrees as well because it's a straight line and they're supplementary. So a trick that we can do is actually add the other two interior angles that aren't connected with the exterior angle. So here we have 82 and 42. So if we add those together, we get 124. And so X equals 124. And we can use the 124 to then find the interior angle if we want to. And so it should be 56. And so if we added 56, 82, and 42, we get 180 degrees. If we had 56 and 124, we get 180 degrees. So if they want us to find that exterior angle, 
we can just add the opposite two angles that aren't connected with the exterior angle. Here are your three practice problems for tonight. You'll have one here where you need to find x, the interior angle. On two, you need to use the exterior angle to help you find the missing interior angle x. And then here is different, you need to find the exterior angle x. And so once you find all the values, take a picture of it and submit it through Edmodo.